KCSE 2019 essay, question 7 and 8. 7 giving examples. Describe the following interactions among organism. 20 marks. Predator-prey relationship. A predator is an animal that hunts other animals for food, example, a dog and a hare. Preys devise survival mechanisms in their habitats not to be killed, to survive and reproduce. To this end, they run faster because they have strong hind leg muscles. Camouflage with environments, mimic the predators, or strong sense of smell to detect the predator. Some emit chemicals that turn away from the predators, while others, like porcupines, use spines to fight off predators. On the other hand, predators also devise means to be able to survive in such an ecosystem, for instance, running faster and camouflaging with the environment. Predators have sharp eyesight. Some produce poison to kill their prey while others have sharp, strong, and long claws. Symbiosis is a long-term association between two organisms of different species where the two mutually benefit from each other. For example, the bacteria in the rumen or colon of her herbivores, which help the herbivores digest cellulose. As they are sheltered by the herbivores, the bacteria found in the human digestive system are also sheltered by humans as they ensure microbial balance. The nitrogen-fixing bacteria on the root nodules of leguminous plants benefit from the shelter offered by the plants. As they facilitate conversion of free atmospheric nitrogen into forms that can be readily absorbed by the plants. Parasitism is a kind of association where one organism, the parasite, benefits while the other, the host loses, also called antagonistic slash antipathetic symbiosis, for example, a tick, Sucking blood from a cow, making the cow to be anemic and malnourished. Parasites can be external or internal endoparasites. For instance, liver fluke. Suck blood and nutrients from the host and can cause death or bodily harm on the internal organs of the host, including blocking blood vessels. 8. Explain the effects of increased physical activity on the following organ systems. 20 marks. A. Heart. Increased physical activity results in increased heartbeat. Increased blood pressure pumps more blood to the peripheral blood vessels at a faster rate supplying oxygen and nutrients for continued respiration to yield energy needed to sustain the vigorous contraction and relaxation of muscles during the physical activity. Carbon, 4. Oxide and other metabolic wastes produced during the process are also transported to the relevant excretory organs for elimination. The wastes, if left to accumulate, can poison cells or cause fatigue. B. Lungs The increased breathing rate during the physical activity influences the lungs' increase in volume. To take in more amount of air retained or expelled during the activity, the lungs expand to take in more air and deflate to expel more carbon. 4. Oxide more oxygen is taken in during exercise to sustain the process of muscle respiration to produce the required energy for the constant muscle contraction and relaxation. C. Kidneys maintain the blood plasma pH and osmotic balance by eliminating excess hydrogen ions that accumulate, for instance, through the production of carbon, 4, oxide during exercise, 
To maintain the osmotic balance, the kidneys conserve sodium ions and reabsorb water in the kidney tubules, leading to reduction in the volume of urine produced during exercises. The kidneys tend to filter out more urea, releasing more in the urine. D. Skin Due to the increased muscle activity during physical exercises, one sweats more, eliminating nitrogenous wastes and excess water through the sweat pores, cooling the body. After water in the sweat evaporates, the increased internal body temperature also leads to the dilation of superficial blood vessels leading to loss of excess heat by radiation or convection. The hair on the skin surface also lie flat to allow for loss of heat by radiation or convection. KCSE 2018 Essay, Question 7 and 8 7. A. Describe the mode of reproduction in a named fungus. 5. Marks Rhizopus reproduce asexually by sporulation. Spores develop from a single cell forming sporangium, which bursts on maturity releasing spores, which are dispersed by air currents, to form new generation if it lands on a suitable medium, yeast, reproduce asexually by budding, parent cell forms a bud. This is followed by division of the nucleus into two one of the nuclei moves into the bud, which grows and develops into a new cell. 7. B. Describe the role of hormones in the human menstrual cycle. 15 marks. After or at the onset of menstruation, the pituitary gland secretes follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, the follicle-stimulating hormone causes the graphene follicle to develop into the ovary and stimulate the ovary tissues to secrete estrogen hormone. Estrogen brings about healing of the endometrium. Its concentration increases to a level which stimulates the anterior pituitary gland to secrete luteinizing hormone, LH and stops further secretion of follicle-stimulating hormone. <coughs> hormone. The luteinizing hormone stimulates the maturation of the graphene follicle. Luteinizing hormone also stimulates the graphene follicle to release an ovum into the fallopian tube, which causes ovulation. Luteinizing hormone also stimulates the remains of the graphene follicle to form a corpus luteum in the ovary. The corpus luteum is stimulated by the luteinizing hormone to produce progesterone. Progesterone then stimulates the thickening of the endometrium in readiness for implantation. As progesterone level increases, it inhibits the pituitary gland from secreting follicle-stimulating hormone. Further, increase in progesterone level inhibits the pituitary gland from secreting luteinizing hormone. This causes the corpus luteum to degenerate. This reduces the amount of progesterone, the sudden drop-in. Secretion of progesterone causes menstruation to occurs and the cycle is repeated. 8. Describe what happens to a meal rich in proteins along the alimentary canal, from ingestion to ingestion. 20 marks. The meal is ingested through the mouth. In the mouth, it is chewed to break it into smaller particles. It is then mixed with saliva from salivary gland. The food is then rolled by the tongue into boluses and pushed down into the esophagus. The boluses move by peristalsis into the stomach. 
Constant contractions and relaxations of the stomach walls mix the food, giving rise to chime. The presence of food in the stomach further stimulates production of gastric juice, which contains pepsinogen and renin. Pepsinogen is activated to pepsin by hydrochloric acid, contained in the gastric juice. Pepsin breaks down proteins to peptides. Renin converts the protein, caseinogen in milk to casein. It is then pushed into the duodenum through the pyloric sphincter. The pancreatic juice in the duodenum contains trypsin, which digests proteins into peptides. In the ileum, intestinal juice is secreted. It contains peptidase enzymes, which breaks down polypeptides into amino acids. It also contains polypeptidase enzyme which breaks down peptides to amino acids, completing the process of digestion of the proteins. The amino acids are absorbed into the bloodstream through the epithelia of the villi and the capillary walls into the bloodstream by active transport. The undigested proteins pass through to the colon where water is absorbed leaving a semi-solid waste material being passed on to the rectum, then out through the anus.